You're listening to a portion of our conversation from episode 239, featuring the Jurassic Wire with myself, Brad Jost, and co-host Aaron Beyer. If you want to hear the full conversation, download the full episode on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever else you listen to podcasts. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the recently revealed, for the very first time ever, Mementisaurus head sculpt from The Lost World. Stan Winston's school revealed that over on their Facebook page. We take a look at the pictures, talk about it, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's go ahead and boost that signal and head off into the Jurassic Wire. Uh, let's move on to our next topic, which is uh, the Mementisaurus uh, head or whatever. <laughs> it uh, popped I'm such up. I'm a sucker <laughs> for stuff like this. <laughs> I love stuff like this. Dude, and good, I mean, on, it's... good on Outpost for, for hunting it down and like really pushing for it. Yeah, I mean, it was posted on Stan Winston School's Facebook page. So I just checked and it, and it wasn't on as far as I could tell, it wasn't on their Instagram or uh, the Twitter account for some reason. They didn't share it across the spectrum there. It was just on Facebook. Um, so, okay. yeah, so I'm going to put the images into uh, the video as well. But um, we have, uh, you know, a nice-looking sculpt there. This is uh, the first time we're ever seeing this mold here and th what this thing looked like from a practical sense. Um because everything that we see in the movie is digital. This is from the Lost World, if in case you were wondering. Um, that right. scene in the 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 hunters are you know going in and out of the dinosaur legs with the motorcycles and the trucks and jeeps and everything. So uh, that's from this moment. And you are yeah, you are pumped about this. this. <laughs> I love this. Um, I, there's not really not too much to say about it. I think mm -hmm. the reason I wanted to cover it, um, it, it's it's something we haven't seen up close ever. Yeah. Um, this animal, this animal's head is so high up in the in the film because you're in the perspective of the motorcycle guy going yeah. between the length of it that like you can't actually see the detail of the of the head. And uh, man, I just love it. It it's so cool. And then like there's the image of the artist like painting the maquette, um, and it's like that brownish green color with the with the mm -hmm. white like underbody. It's it's just so incredibly cool, and it's it's so neat to finally see something like this because we have the we have the concept art in the making of uh, the Lost World book, the Jody Duncan book. But I mean, concept art isn't a maquette, you know. Like this is awesome. Um, so I just wanted to touch on it. It's really freaking cool. I'm glad we have something like this. And I I know Colin has said that like a Jurassic World art book is coming that will probably assuming will encompass like the three movies. Um, that he's done, but I would love to see an old trilogy, a new trilogy, and just all kinds of things that we've never seen before um, from these artists. It just would be so awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, look, this thing is beautiful. Um, it's, it's awesome. It's very different from, you know, the other sauropods that we've seen and everything. It's, it, it looks beautiful. Uh, I love that paint job. It looks very light un uh, undertones under the neck. Um <laughs> And yeah, that brown, brown or black striping that's on its back it looks great. Um, it looks pretty legit, man. It, it looks real. Like it, it looks awesome. I love yeah. this. I, I'm trying to compare it. Um, let me see here. I bring up a picture of uh, the dying Apatosaurus, <laughs> so you can kind of uh, see the difference. It, it's oh man, like that that Apatosaurus animatronic. Uh, that's what I have up on the screen right now. Right. Um, yeah, just. Um, it doesn't look as good. It's just something. Maybe it's just the the, the facial features of the dinosaur specifically, but um, I just like the way that this this Mementosaurus looks way more than uh, and especially that paint job, man. That the paint job that they're they're doing right there is you know it's it's dynamic. It's got multiple colors on there, um, striping and everything, and then you have the the Ingapatosaurus that is just like bland, very bland. You know, just gray. Um, so yeah, big, yeah, big I mean, difference. Actually, this is the first time I'm hearing like, ever since this Mementiosaurus uh, sculpt came out, this is the first time I'm hearing that like people like didn't really like the Apatosaur in Jurassic World, and I never oh, yeah. knew that people had a problem with it. Like, I think the Apatosaur looks like an Apatosaur. It actually, I don't know like who the artist is, but it reminds me of the sideshow. Apatosaurus um, from their Dinosauria mm. collection, which I thought was a great representation. Again, though, I'm not like a dinosaur enthusiast. I'm a movie <laughs> dinosaur enthusiast. Sure. Um, and, yeah. and even more niche, I'm a Jurassic Park enthusiast. So like, 
you know, to me, I thought it looked great. Um, but yeah, this Mementiosaurus, it's just, it's just on a whole nother level. And to see that amount of work that went into that to basically be the top, like one thirty second of a, of a frame. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's all know. blurry all the way up there. You can't really see yeah, much. It's exactly. just like, um, it's super high up. Um, but yeah, it's really I, cool. I think a lot of people with the, uh, had issues with the dinosaurs in Jurassic World in general when, when they're going through that like uh, gyrosphere scene and it's just like gray animal after gray animal after gray animal or like a shade of green that just looks like gray, um, you know. So that's, I think, what the issue is more so with the paint job than the sculpt or, or how it looked because I think it looks cute. It's, it's a nice little looking dinosaur. I mean, um, it just the, is bland. Sure, but the Jurassic Park dinosaurs were kind of bland. I mean, it wasn't until Jurassic Park 3 that we started getting crazy colors, which I personally thought was weird after having um, after having kind of the bland colors in Jurassic Park and the Lost World. Now, with the exception of like the tiger stripe raptors, um, but you go into the you go into that enclosure with the gyrospheres and you see Triceratops, which we've seen, and you see Stegosaurus, which we've seen. You see Parasauralophus, which we've seen. The only new one at that point is a Patasaur. So maybe I guess they could have made it like red or something or, you know, colored it up yeah. a bit. I, I don't then, even like, need it to be like some just ultra hyper place? realistic thing. I just need it to look, you know, a little nicer like this dinosaur here. I think this looks sure pretty nice. Um, it's yeah. a little bit more dynamic than the patasaurus but um yeah i don't know okay, that's uh, fair. i mean i just comparing them because just because they're similar ish um in nature but yeah right. but um i think this thing looks beautiful and it's awesome that we get to see new things still from the, from all these movies you know and like you're saying yeah. with jurassic world and, and getting an art book for this trilogy um hopefully after dominion that would be amazing i can't wait to see you know concepts and, and actually I, I think we discussed it last time you know all those concepts that were out for raptors and stuff i i, did, I don't know if we discussed that or not or if i did it on a live stream but there's all these know, concepts for like raptors and stuff like that um that have been popping up um for i think it was uh, like indoraptor and stuff like that so yeah but uh yeah i mean i've seen some of those floating around i'm i'm glad we wound up with what we did um, oh yeah yeah for sure concepts. There's like one or two that I'm like, okay, that's pretty cool. But all of them have like weird looking heads and weird stuff going on. But uh, yeah, yeah. So the the one that we got is pretty good. <laughs> but uh, yeah, what do you say uh, we move on to the next? Thing?